Welcome back. I want to talk to you today about um, spiritual healing, which I really think of as energy medicine. And I don't like to make this very complicated. Um, I think of life, and this is just my own um, science belief system. I'm sure you believe this too, that energy is neither created or destroyed. And at a subatomic level, we are energy. So our physical body may come and go, but our energetic body that is energy that's neither created or destroyed lives and continues. What's interesting about human beings is that we function very well at 7.83 hertz. And what's really fascinating is that the earth vibrates um, energetically at 7.83 hertz. So when you hear about forest bathing or being out in nature or nature-based healing, which we practice in Ayurveda, we're really connecting with our energetic body. And religions have known this for thousands of years. That's why they've used prayer and meditation and intention to heal. What's fascinating about all the neuroscience and epigenetics and energy medicine, which is just as scientific as um, you know, lab-based experiments, um, creating drugs for the physical body, um, we've proven that there's a quantum field and that we are part of this quantum field. And if you don't believe this and you don't understand it, just take a look at Dr. Joe Dispenza's work on We Are the Placebo, where he's proven that when we change our mindset and our intentions, that we have the power to heal our own body. There's also another great book called Becoming Supernatural. And there's also a great um, person who's scientifically proving this called Lynn McTaggart. And she created the intention experiment, uh, the power of eight. And what scientists are showing is this concept of heart rate variability. And when our bodies in high stress state states or beta waves, um, we're sick. And as we talked about before, stress is 95% or more of disease is caused by stress, meaning our energetic body is super out of whack. Our brain waves are out of whack. They're sending um, responses to the autonomic nervous system. We're putting ourselves in high stress based states, which we live in in modern times. And when we slow our brain down and we become fully present in the moment, we switch to alpha waves. And those alpha waves put our body in the parasympathetic um, nervous system when it's then able to heal. And a lot of what Ayurveda does is simply that. We're working with energy. We're working with the energetic body. We're hitting it with many different angles through five sense therapies. And we're and all of Ayurvedic body work is really energy work. We're bringing the body into alpha alpha states, we're syncing up the energy to that hurts that it works with, with nature and the environment. We're using nature-based healing. We're using herbs. We're using food. We're using sense therapies for the eyes, the nose. We're working with the chakra system. So um, energy medicine really is like the complete picture and spiritual healing. And what is so fascinating about this work and what they're finding is um, that when we set an intention to heal ourselves, you know, we can heal our own bodies, but even more profound than that is when we set an intention to heal others, say through prayer, meditation, intention, we can help heal others as well. Again, just look at Melinda Taggart's work. If you don't believe me, this is being scientifically proven to work more than um, the placebo effect. And um, what I'm trying to say is that when we send healing love and light to others, we actually receive healing in return. So this, this altruism effect of healing in and of itself. And I find this really cool because I had a client, a yoga student of mine asked me the other day if I enjoyed energy work and if it was taxing or did I even like it? And I, I was so... Um, I don't know, I'm taken back by the comment because I think that somebody might see that as labor or, um, you know, again, as work or um, energetically, maybe even losing your energy as you work on someone else's body. But what I've found to be true is that when I'm helping other heals that heal, which is why I love this work so much, is that I in turn heal myself profoundly. And what's even more awesome is that in group dynamics, we have the power and capacity to make 
much more faster change together than we do alone. So if um, what's interesting is like suicide rates go up when people feel isolated and they don't feel part of a community, um, then people suffer and they suffer from depression, emotional-based healing. And when we come together and we unite and we bring our energy together and we create a vibration of healing together, then we're able to thrive. And that's really why I've created um, my... Uh, 10 weeks to love your body and one year to love your life is to bring people in this community together and we heal exponentially so much faster than we do alone. And again, that that was proven by Lynn Mittager. Um, she brought a group of eight people together time and time again. And um, well, eight is like the infinity symbol, um, just so happened that eight was the number. And they scientifically proved over and over again how a focused intention for 10 minutes had profound healing effects on other people. So thank you so much for listening. If you want to learn more about energy-based healing, you can find me at Love Yourself. I would love for you to consider looking at my 10 weeks to love your body in 2020 to work with a group and to work on um, lifestyle habits, mind, body, and spiritual healing. And if this really seems fascinating and interesting to you, then you'll really love my one year to love your life course in 2020. Thank you.